Good day, one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Tokyo Haneda Airport Terminal 3, uh, the international terminal. I just landed on a Lofthansa A340 flight from Frankfurt, Germany, and now I have nine hours here before I catch Ornipon Airway 787 8 economy to Sydney, Australia. So transit here is pretty much, uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's no special requirements for transit in terms of vaccination and uh, COVID test. It all depends on your final destination. So when I got off my plane, um, it was like a two minute walk to the transit desk area. Have to uh, go through security checks and then all Nippon Airways staff were there to check my COVID-19 test result. Um, vaccination status and also my Australia's travel declaration form and of course my boarding pass to Australia. Haneda International Terminal is dead quiet today. It's only about 2pm and only 6 flights left to depart. Maybe only half of the shops were open for business and I went into this duty free shop to get some souvenirs including vodka and snacks. Now it's off to the ANA lounge. ANA has two international lounges here, the Suite Lounge, which is for first class passengers, and this Business Lounge or ANA Lounge for Business Class and Star Alliance Gold. I see some familiar faces here. There were travellers from Frankfurt and London right now in this lounge, later flying to Sydney as well. So this lounge offers full buffet, including your alcohol selection. There's also a booth where you can order some cooked order food, including ramen and curry rice. So I just ordered some char siu ramen with pork broth. I can't wait to try it out. I found myself a cute little table overlooking the tarmac with a glass of sparkling and ramen. I'm so, so excited to try the pork broth. Oishi. Now let's try the chashu pork. ASMR. Mm. Now let's do noodles. That's our Lufthansa plane that brought us all the way from Frankfurt yesterday and today. You can now check that trip report out in my YouTube channel. I'll have the link in the description down below. Hello there, welcome to the ANA Lounge shower room in Tokyo Haneda Terminal 2. So you have to go to reception and grab a key card. And when you come in, it locks automatically. Which is really cool. wise you got a Dyson hairdryer, a fan for ventilation, a clock, some Japanese beauty products, a toothbrush, toothpaste, shaving cream, that kind of stuff. Japanese toilet with buttons on it. Here's the shower with overhead uh, shower head, which is amazing. Uh, there's also a coat hanger, coat hook, and a uh, baggage rack. So on the Lofthansa flight from Germany, I had a bleeding nose and it got my shirt. And then the very attentive lounge attendant gave me three of those stain removal wipes. Hopefully they work. Uh, and then we had a very long conversation afterwards. She gave me this Sakura, Sakura flower that she folded. It's really cute. And she wrote me a postcard. She's really so kind. I'm like crying internally. She's so kind. Like, I've forgotten how kind and generous Japanese people are. Look at that kitty. Oh. I'm gonna invest on one of those Dyson hair dryers. They're so good. Our connection today in Tokyo is about eight hours, so that's a lot of time. I'm spending all this time by eating and eating and eating. A few hours have passed, I went back to the booth and ordered a curry rice and I got some curry gear chicken from the buffet. 
I've really got nothing to do now, so I'm just walking around the terminal trying to do some shopping. Unfortunately, all the shops, including the duty free store, has closed. That's God telling me not to buy more vodka. So I'm back in the lounge. I just want to show you how neat and nice the lavatory is. Like, look at the way they stack the toilet rolls. Everything's just so neat and tidy and clean. I just got another pork ramen and champagne. Oh, this one is really good. After a very long wait, it's finally time to board our plane to Australia. This is our aircraft today, one of the oldest 787 out there. They only pull an Airways Boeing 7878 Juliet Alpha 813 Alpha. This aircraft has economy, premium economy and business class. Boarding is done by various groups including your class of travel, your star lines and ANA status. The ANA staff also bowed as they began the whole boarding process. So welcome on board ANA7878. This is the business class cabin in a one to one configuration. Now we're passing through premium economy in a 232 layout. This is economy in a 333 configuration. Here's my seat today, 24k window seat, first cabin, the last roll. Every economy seat here is about 17 inches wide and the legroom, according to Seat Guru, is 31 inches. ANA has one of my favourite boarding music ever. I always play it when I'm bored at home. Now let's go through the seat features. So first of all you've got a Kohook. Touchscreen TV with a USB port and a headphone jack. Here's a remote. To release the tray table, you press the button. You can open it, doubling the size, and move it back and forth. There's also a little cup holder there. Down there's your seat pocket. You'll find your headphone in there. Another pouch for greater storage. Leg room is enormous, I don't believe it's 31, could be 33, 34. Underneath the seat in front of you, you'll find a netted footrest for greater comfort. And then here's a universal power socket that you share between yourself and your neighbour. The headrest is adjustable, you can move it up and down, fix the sides as well.
possible turbulence. Please keep your seat belt securely fastened. We expect to arrive at Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport at 9.55 a.m. January 23rd, local time. The time difference between Tokyo and Sydney is two hours, and the local time in Sydney is 12.45 a.m. We would like to explain our services on this flight. After the captain turns off the seatbelt sign, we will serve dinner and drinks. We will have duty-free sales after the meal service. For hygienic reasons, please order duty-free items on your CTV. For details, please refer to the CTV. We will be closing the sales one hour before arrival. For hygienic reasons, our services partially changed on this flight. If you need in flight magazines, please contact a cabin attendant. Thank you for your understanding. For all passengers' reassurance, we kindly request that you take measures to avoid the infection, such as wearing a mask or facial covering, washing your hands, coughing in a suitable manner. Please refrain from removing the mask or facial covering for a long time to eat and drink, drinking a large amount of alcohol, and talking loudly at close range. We hope you enjoy the flight with us. Thank you. If you ever wonder how I use my cut hook, here you go. The cabin crew now come around the cabin to give us different things. So the first crew gave us an Australian arrival card, and a second cabin crew gave us a rubbish bag and a cleaning wipe for your seat. Please take this one too. It's a trash bag. Just before they begin the meal service, they give us a hand wipe. The crew now begin the meal service starting in premium economy and then moving onwards to economy. So here's the menu that the cabin crew would give it to you once they're serving your roll. So after they've served you, they will take it back, give it to the person behind you. So today we got two options, a western option which is the hamburger steak and the Japanese option, the teriyaki chicken rice. Today I went for the Japanese option, the teriyaki chicken rice. The meal tray is large and the presentation is awesome. Along with the rice we got a bottle of water, salad and salad dressing, sushi and adamame and tuna. Drinks are also available including alcoholic beverages. I'm going for a cold green tea and gin and tonic. I really admire how ANA still give out side snacks and starters along with your hot meal in economy class. The teriyaki chicken rice is absolutely delicious and everything is cooked to perfection. Chicken was tender and juicy. I really love how they kept the chicken skin. The broccoli and the carrots were soft but they weren't soggy. So here's the drinks I ordered, gin tonic and ice green tea. So here's the ice green tea. I really like how ANA and actually JAL as well both give out iced tea in economy class. Here's the gin tonic. The crew put a lot of gin in there, it's really strong. To wrap the meal service up, we got a little ice cream. The ice cream is too cold and too hard. I ended up breaking the cup instead of the ice cream. The crew now come back to the aisle to collect meal trays and rubbish and offer a second drink. This time I went for an English tea. Throughout the meal service, every 10 minute the cabin crew would come down the aisle to check on things to collect rubbish. <laughs> We kindly request you to wear a mask or facial covering immediately after eating and drinking. Please cover your nose and mouth with a mask or facial covering. Thank you. In terms of your entertainment on board, there's a selection of movies to choose from, but it's not super extensive. 
There's some live TV shows as well. CNN News didn't work at all. The Sport Channel worked. And right now there's a game happening between Munich and a team that I'm not familiar with at all. So I'm getting ready for bed now. Every seat you'll find a pillow and a blanket. Hello, welcome to ANA 787-8 Economy Class Lavatory. It's just behind my seat of 26k. It's quite spacious here. I really like it. Big sink. Um, you've got a Japanese bidet toilet. So you've got buttons there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think ANA's the first airline ever to bring those toilet seats, uh, I mean those technologies, onto an aircraft. And I think it was on the 787 about 10 years ago. Kahook and Kahook. Mirror, mood lighting up there. Really like it here. I lied down with three seats all for myself, which was fantastic. And halfway through the flight, the cabin crew came down and I asked for a cup of English tea again. And right now, I'm just browsing through the duty free on board. And I noticed that the things that they're selling are either overly priced or overly cheap. Sunrise is now happening, and the crew now begin the meal service as we're flying over northern Queensland. We're now about two hours away from Sydney. So for breakfast you don't have a choice and it's a lighter meal as well compared to dinner. So for breakfast we have a chicken sandwich, very fresh and delicious by the way, yogurt and some fruits. The ingredients are stacked really well and neat and tidy compared to McDonald's and surprisingly very delicious. It didn't feel dry at all, that's one thing I hate about sandwiches, usually it's too dry. There's also a tiny KitKat bar hiding in the box. For drinks this time I went for a cup of water and a cup of hot green tea. For the cup of water I actually brought it to the lavatory with me so that I can rinse my mouth as I brush my teeth. The crew are now back to collect your rubbish and your meal boxes and to offer us more drinks. The CNN News channel now works. The crew are now reminding us to put our mask back on and to fasten our seatbelt. Ladies and gentlemen, we expect to arrive at Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport in about 15 minutes. It is cloudy with some shower in Sydney and the temperature is 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We will now close our duty free sales. Thank you for your purchases. To prepare for landing, we will end the in-seat power service and a and a Wi-Fi service in about 30 minutes. Please make sure that you have filled out the entry documents for Australia. All passengers must fill out an arrival card. May we remind you of the restrictions on carry-on liquid on board your connecting flight or return flight. The captain has informed us that we will be making our final approach in 40 minutes. If you wish to use the lavatory, please do so at this time. Please return to your seat and securely fasten your seat belt once the captain turns on the seat belt sign. By request of the Australian government, we will now show a video about the importation of food and plant. Plants, or seeds, and wooden animal products, such as foam or shells. You must declare any shoes or equipment with soil on them just declared. Making our final approach. Please securely fasten your seat belt. Please return your seat and table to the original position. Please place your baggage under the seat in front of you. Please. 
Our cabin crew have just completed their final cabin checks and bowed as they return to their jump seats. So now let's quickly conclude our 9 hour flight with ANA from Tokyo to Sydney right here right now. Our journey today starts at the amazing ANA lounge at Haneda Airport Terminal 3. It was really quiet due to the international border restrictions still in place in Japan. But regardless of that, the Japanese hospitality was still there, the people were friendly, the food was amazing and the service was top notch. I really enjoyed the ramen that they offered and also the champagne as well. There were lots of good amenities in the shower room as well, including slippers and Dyson hairdryer. Boarding started really on time because we were in Japan. Once we stepped onto the aircraft, we received a really warm welcome from our cabin crew. And then when I sat down at my seat 24K, immediately I noticed how much leg room we got. It was plentiful. Although the seat width wasn't as good as Japan Airlines, Japan Airlines have one less seat per roll in their 787. The extra leg room really made up for it. And I think that even if I had a neighbor next to me, I would still have a really comfortable flight. Screening before leaving the airport. Also, due to the suspension of domestic transfer buses, passengers with a domestic connection flight will need to make their own way to the domestic terminal by train or taxi. That announcement, by the way, was not up to date. Sydney Airport and Qantas have since brought back the terminal buses. So let's continue with the flight conclusion. The service on board was also top notch, like the lounge. The crew was really attentive and caring. They've walked down the aisle countless times to collect rubbish, to give us more drinks and to check on us throughout the whole flight. The food on board was really delicious as well. I really enjoyed the chicken teriyaki for dinner and a sandwich for breakfast. In terms of your entertainment, there's a TV with movies to choose from. There was also Wi-Fi to connect, but I don't think it was enabled. In-flight magazines were only available on request. So overall, I really did enjoy this flight with ANA. It went by really quick. Service was amazing and the food was yummy. And most importantly, I guess the seat was really comfortable. For the price, I paid £540 to fly Lufthansa from London to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Tokyo, and then ANA to Sydney. You can now watch all those three trip reports on my YouTube channel. So guys, thank you so much for watching my first ever ANA trip report on my YouTube channel. I really hope that you enjoyed this particular trip report. If you're new to my channel, I upload a new trip report every Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong time. That'd be 1 p.m. every Thursday in Japan, 3 p.m. in Sydney, Australia. So please go subscribe and you won't miss out on another trip report coming out every Thursday. You can keep up to date with me with those social media platforms, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I also offer memberships on Patreon and YouTube directly. If you prefer one-off payments, PayPal me is the way to go. Now please enjoy the approach and landing into Sydney Airport, runway 25, which is quite unusual for a wide body aircraft. And after disembarking, I'll do a Q&A. I guess I'll see you there, bye.
five meters away from others while you're in the airport. Please speak to a member of the crew. Good day, Mumble Fly Squad. Welcome back to another Q&A. Long time no see. Um, um, and excuse my messy hair. That's why I've got my hoodie on. I'm going to get that fixed soon when I go to Vietnam because I don't want to pay for a 30 bucks haircut here in Australia when I, can, when I can do haircut in Vietnam for like maybe less than $10. So anyway, let's jump straight to Q&A. Which European airline do you think is the best one? So um, I've not flown on many, many European airlines yet, but I would say Virgin Atlantic is definitely one of the best I've tried. Uh, they still serve two full meals on long haul flights, even in economy and their uh, clubhouse in Heathrow is really good. Was there an instance that you felt heartwarmed or touched because of a flight attendant? Um, Maybe a couple times, but I can't give you a specific instance. Um, maybe one time when I flew Etihad from Hong Kong to Abu Dhabi, the cabin manager was just super nice to me throughout the whole flight. And uh, I even gave her a hug when I uh, disembarked. Um, it's, it's also always cool when I fly a foreign airline and I meet a Hong Kong flight attendant or an Australian flight attendant because we can relate on something. Third question, you have any plans for Hong Kong to see how they want to see how they want to see Is there an airline that you really want to try them out? Yeah, definitely a few, including United in America, um, a few European airlines as well, um, um, South African um, and Bamboo Airways, which I'm trying out next week when I do Sydney to Ho Chi Minh. Are you thinking of becoming a pilot? Uh, no, not really at the moment, not for commercial pilot, certainly. Um, maybe for casual flying, yeah, when I have some money saved up, I'll learn. Uh, tips for nervous flyers, how to deal with turbulence. Um, well, for turbulence specifically, I would say practice your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't overthink too much. You're not going to die because, you know, flying is really, really safe. Um, the pilots always do a good job. And uh, Maybe even during the turbulence, just um, keep yourself occupied. Focus on the movie that you're watching. Don't think about the turbulence, just watch your screen. <laughs> What's your favourite clothing brand? Um, I don't really have an absolute favourite one, but I do tend to go for a few, including Hollister. Um... I don't know. Jack Wills. I really like Jack Wills because um, it's JW, which is like my initials as well. And when I wear Jack Wills and people people think that it's uh, my own brand, I'm like, yeah, my own brand. Haha. <laughs> Have you flown KLM before? Uh, no, I haven't, even though I was booked on a flight with them. But uh, that was in 2020 during COVID. So it got cancelled eventually, which is really sad. When will you visit South Africa? Hopefully soon, when the time is right and I can get a cheap ticket to SA. What's your favourite type of aircraft? Um, so the 747 is my favourite aircraft to probably to fly on and also just to look at. A380 is definitely one of my favourites to fly on. A350 as well. Yeah. Which airline has the best peanuts? Good question. Um, 
Well, you don't really get that in Australia because a lot of people have allergies. Um, maybe Cathay in Malaysia. I always finish the whole pack packets. When do you plan to pursue? What do you plan to pursue upon graduation? Uh, so my graduation ceremony is actually, it was supposed to be December last year, but it got postponed to April this year, so next month, due to the outbreak in LA uh, late last year. Um, but I am pushing that back to September or December this year, because I don't want to go to a ceremony where people still have to socially distance or wear a mask. I don't want to, you know, do photo shoots with my mask on and I want to wait for my family and friends from overseas to be able to join the ceremony as well. Uh, so what do I plan, by the way? Um, nothing much. I'm not too rushed about getting a job. Uh, I'll just go with the flow. I'm currently doing casual stuff like... Uh, some online work and also food delivery and I'm happy with that at the moment and obviously YouTube and traveling. Are you planning to visit a new country in the next month? Uh, Vietnam's one of them next week. Uh, new country, new country. Um, I'm going to Prague in Czech Republic in May with my cousin and I think those are the only two that I've planned and booked so far. Have you ever had a b very bad s stomach ache and had to use a toilet in flight? Yes. Yes, and I remember that forever. It was during my, f uh, I was in year 12 and I went to Malaysia with my friend. Uh, my local friend bought me some very delicious nasi lemak in, in, in a leaf. And, oh, it was so delicious and spicy, by the way, but then I got diarrhea that night, but my flight wasn't until like two days later, but it still kept going on. Uh, it was a three hour flight back to Hong Kong and I went to the lavatory three times. It wasn't fun. And I was lucky that there was no neighbor next to me because God, I would be so annoying. Final question for today. Oh, sorry, second last actually. How's your job search going? Not so good, to be honest. Um, um, not much luck so far, but again, I've said before, I'm happy with my situation at the moment, not in a big rush or hurry. Uh, if I get it, I get it. Do you plan to have a virtual meeting to allow all your fans to ask you question live? Not really, not a concrete plan yet, but I have thought about it and I might do it when I feel like it. Maybe when I'm bored, when I'm traveling solo to Vietnam and Thailand. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the Q&A this week. I'll have more answered uh, in the coming weeks. I'll see you next week, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.